Check this out. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Nexigo 360 meeting camera. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. I've also reviewed a lot of other Nexigo webcams on my channel, so please be sure to go ahead and check out some of those videos. You can see the nice retail box, in packaging right here, walking us through some of the product features. This is a 360 video conference camera featuring 8K resolution and 1080p video output. This also features eight omnidirectional microphones and dual full duplex speakerphones for some crisp and clear audio output. Now let's go ahead, let's open this up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, we have your user guide and manual complete with customer service and contact information right on the front of the guide for you. This also comes with a one year manufacturer's warranty. We can learn more about the product and the included contents. We can also learn more about the controls and connection interfaces, how to switch modes and the different LED indicator instructions and lights. Next, you can see the five different mode options we have. Then you can see we have our tech specs right here. So the output resolution of the Stitch video is 1920 by 1080p at 25 FPS. 190 degree field of view for the dual lenses. Dual 10 watt speakers, USB type C. Here's setup instructions as well. Plug and play capabilities with Windows and Mac. Then we have some product notes and warning information on the back side for you. Also some QR codes. Next, you can see the included USB type C to USB type A cable that will connect to our computer. Then we have our power adapter, our DC plug that'll connect to the camera. And then we have our power cord that's gonna connect to the adapter and the wall. Last but not least, we have the camera itself right here. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. So here's a look at the camera up close. You can see at the top, we have all of our different control options. So we have our mode button. We can cycle through the five different modes, our volume decrease and increase buttons. We have our mute button. And then you can see we have our eight omnidirectional built-in microphones. We can press down right here to open up the top section to reveal the 360 camera. So you can see it on both sides. Look at how cool that is. And it just gently presses up and down in place. Very, very nice. Got a carbon fibery look and feel to it right there as well. Then you can see from the sides, we have our dual 10 watt built-in speakers and you can see our speaker mesh grill right here. Let's go and let's press that back in. And now we can look at it from the bottom. You can see the Nexigo logo and branding, some product information. Then you can see our input options right here, USB type C, DC for our wall power. And we have our internet port over there, our ethernet port. Pay attention to the design right here. We have a nice cutout so we can run all of our cables so we can rest on a flat surface without the cables getting in the way or obstructing the placement of our conference camera. Now let's go ahead, let's plug this in and try it out. All right, so now you can see I got everything plugged in and powered on. It truly was plug and play with my Windows PC. So check it out here, guys. This is the live 1080p video and you guys can hear the raw mic audio with our eight built-in omni-directional microphones. I haven't adjusted anything with the computer. Obviously within Windows, you can adjust the microphone input sensitivities, but I noticed that it's not clipping at all. So we're gonna leave it as it is right now. This is truly plug and play, auto, everything. This is what you can expect if you're gonna use this to conduct your business with. So first up, we're in mode one, which is called discussion mode. So you have spots for two people. You can see me in the frame on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, you can see the preview of my monitor. That would be the second person that it would pick up on and you guys can have a discussion together. What I mean by that is as follows. I'm gonna move over here and now I'm gonna keep talking. So it's gonna jump to me. There we go. You can see it responded. And now we're having a discussion with ourselves. So there's the two people in the frame at the moment. So that's gonna be the first mode for discussion mode, which is pretty cool. We got the 360 up top and then two speakers at the bottom that's gonna track the active speakers for you which is really, really neat. The next mode we can go, we can press that right now. This is mode two, this is called presentation mode one. So with this one, you can see we have one main speaker and then the 360 
up top if somebody's given a presentation. That's what you can see right here. Next up is our second presentation mode. So it's just going to reframe on the speaker completely so there's no 360 bar at the top. So check that out. That's going to be our presentation mode two, which is technically mode three. Now we can go to the next mode setting. This is uh, mode four, which is called global mode. So it's going to have 280 degree panoramas showing all of the attendees on both sides, everybody in the room, which is really, really cool right there. So that's what this mode looks like. Check out the image quality, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful image quality right there. But we got the complete 360. See if we can, there we can get the hands doing a virtual hug. I am hugging you guys right now. Pretty cool though, really neat technology. It does a good job seaming everything together in the clip. So that's our fourth mode, global mode. And then we have our fifth and final mode. This is patrol mode. This is really cool. So it's gonna be on your active speaker on the right side of the screen as you guys see. And on the left, the camera's gonna automatically pan to display each attendee. So it's just gonna pan around the room and display each attendee. So that's gonna be your patrol mode. We'll let that patrol for another minute so you guys can see it in action, but it's really a cool feature. And again, just with the touch of a button, you can change the mode to whatever you want. Don't have to configure software, anything like that. It's integrated directly into the camera itself, which I think is very, very important. So that's what this camera is all about with those different modes and the AI technology to frame everything, track the correct speaker, and it does a really good job. And it's just so cool with all the different modes. And we're still patrolling around the room and we have me, the main speaker, but really neat technology there as it continues to pan around. So let's watch it. We're probably a little bit more than halfway panned through the room and it's gonna bring me into the shot. There I am, hey! So now you can see me with both options and it's gonna to continue to do the patrol. So if somebody wants to speak, everybody else can still be visible. Really a cool way to showcase and really engross everybody at the meeting who isn't actually physically present there with everybody else to really feel a part of the meeting and the conference call and everything else that's going on thanks to the technology here. It does everything digitally as well because as you can see from the studio video, nothing with the camera module is physically moving. So that is all done with that AI technology and it's all software based. Now let's go ahead, let's turn off the studio lights and test out the image quality in a low light setting. So now you can see what everything looks like with our studio lights turned off. This is a low light environment. We have the window covered with the blind behind us, some light illuminating from the four monitors near the camera, but that's it. You can see the image quality with all of our auto settings. Everything looks great and it's still working great. Watch as I move over here. You can see it's still gonna track and frame me. So check that out. It found me right away. It tracked me the whole time. It's doing a really good job. Very responsive still in this low light, harsh lighting environment. Typically you're not gonna find yourself in an environment like this. If you're using this in a business setting, you'll have much better light than this room right now. But I just wanted to show you guys what it's like in the quality of the image sensor. Now, really quickly, just for fun, the studio lights are still off, but now we have the window blinds up so you can see what it's like with a little bit more natural light in the room. Same thing, there's just light behind it and a couple of monitors illuminating the room and you can see that same great quality. And we'll go ahead, we'll move over here as well. And then you'll see that it's still going to be able to track with us. No issues at all there with the AI tracking and framing us in the shot in a harsh and low light environment. And again, the image quality for the scenario that we threw at it seems spot on to me, especially with all the auto settings. It's very, very accurate to read the lighting conditions. So now we're testing out the built-in speaker quality. So this is your raw, unedited audio to get a feel for what it's going to sound like to use this device to host your conference calls. This is how everybody's going to sound coming through the device. Again, this is raw, unedited audio. This has been your audio sample so you guys can hear how things are going to sound if you want to use this to take and make your conference calls. Now, just for fun, I wanted to go ahead and play some music through the speaker just so you guys can hear an audio sample of what it's like if you wanted to use it for that purpose as well. So we're gonna play a couple of seconds of a song by Music Chef off the album Behind the Velvet Rope. 
And this is at max volume. It's definitely not the loudest speaker. But music sounds good. There's no distortion or anything like that. It's definitely easy listening if you're going to use this to listen to some audio besides just conference calls and maybe your coworkers' voices. You would have an enjoyable listening experience if you wanted to use this to stream some Spotify or watch some videos with as well. So let me share with you my final thoughts in regards to the Nexigo 360 meeting camera. First, I got to say from a design perspective, I really like how compact and simple the design is with this product. I think having the push-up camera is really neat. One, that's a great privacy feature, so nobody's going to be able to see if you want to keep it in. Two, it could just act as a regular conference speaker without a camera if you wanted. Or again, you can just press this up and use the video features as well. So it's a really cool design, very simple, straightforward. Great that the ports are at the bottom and they have the cutout so you can properly manage your cables. And it's cool that we have the networking option as well. In regards to using it, I was pleased with the video sensor. It was on par with what I would expect for a video conference camera today. The 360 view is definitely the coolest feature by far in the five different adjustable modes. Chances are, depending on your environment, you'll be able to find the correct mode for you and your office space. So I really like the features and definitely the best thing by far is the fact that it's all integrated directly to the hardware. There's no additional software needed to tweak the settings. You can literally just at your fingertips change the five different modes right here. So whatever program you wanna use, Skype, Zoom, whatever you're using for your business, you can just tweak everything right here. Nothing else is needed to download. Now, with that being said, maybe you want something else to accompany this in the future to actually have those software capabilities to change. But I like that it's directly integrated to the hardware for most employees. It's one less thing they have to learn and they can just tap the button right there, see on the screen which one they want and set it and forget about it. The eight mics are cool too. Definitely does a good job picking up audio all throughout the room. Now, with that being said, there are a couple things I'd want to see improved in the future. The first one is, I just don't think the speaker's that loud. I would like to have this speaker be even louder in the future. Not louder to distort the volume, but to really fill up a room with volume. So I'd like to see some increased components internally for the built-in speakers to really give you a 360 sound as well. Especially if you're in an environment that might be a little bit noisy, you might have some trouble hearing depending on how loud the person is on the other end of the phone. Other than that, I think the last feature I'd want to see changed in the future has to do with some of the video. You may have noticed I had it on the table here and then I was standing up off to the side. It doesn't give much adjustment in regards to the vertical video height. So if I was standing up kind of out of the frame, it will center over to me, but it doesn't have much play vertically with the video. I would love to see some extra resolution capturing above and beyond more than what they're outputting so we can also do more adjustments that way with this. But so far, so good, especially if you're sitting at a table. As long as people aren't standing up or different heights for some reason, you'll be fine. Or if they're further away from the camera, that's just me being a little bit more constrained here in the studio. But I still think there's some validity to that in being able to have maybe some extra resolution to play with as it makes those AI adjustments for framing vertically as well as horizontally. Obviously with the 360 cameras, they got the horizontal aspect covered. It does a really good job, but I'd like to see a little bit more wiggle room for that vertical threshold as well with the video. But yeah, I've been using a lot of Nexigo products. This is definitely on the higher quality side of their items and in regards to image capabilities. This is a better image quality than you get with some of just their regular webcams. So they do a really good job and they're definitely continuing to make improvements with their products across the board, whether they're your high-end enterprise business users or their consumer grade webcams. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat. Check out our website and join our free 
newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily, and we can't wait to see you in our next video.